and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. You are very welcome to Mass today on the 16th Sunday of Ordinary Time. And to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries today, let us first call to mind our sins and God's forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Show favour, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace, that, made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus put a parable before the crowds. The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a man who sowed good seed in his field. While everybody was asleep, his enemy came, sowed dharma all among the wheat and made off. When the new wheat sprouted and ripened, the darnel appeared as well. The owner's servants went to him and said, Sir, was it not good seed that you sowed in your field? If so, where does the darnel come from? Some enemy has done this, he answered. And the servants said, Do you want us to go and weed it out? But he said, No. Because when you weed out the darnel, you might pull up the wheat with it. Let them both grow till the harvest, and at harvest time I shall say to the reapers, First collect the darnel and tie it in bundles to be burned. Then gather the wheat into my barn. The Gospel of the Lord. In the course of his parish visiting, the priest came across an elderly parishioner who had been neglecting his spiritual duties for many years. The old man seemed to be indifferent towards God and the church, and that the priest lost his temper completely and told him that he was a rubbish Catholic. That night, the priest dreamed that Almighty God was speaking to him concerning the same old man. I have put up with that old man for nearly 70 years, said God, and you could not put up with him for even a few minutes. The parable of the darnel and the wheat emphasizes God's patience with the world. 
It seems that he has much more tolerance with us than at times we have with him, or one another for that matter. We are warned in the parable not to preempt the judgment of God by being indiscriminate in our judgments. This, I think, particularly applies to institutions. But it doesn't at all mean that we should shy away from having a quiet word with somebody who is not acting in a proper manner. Here, you're not judging the person, but you're helping them, and that is an act of charity. Saint Pope John XXIII of Happy Memory used to say that we must hate the sin but love the sinner. Fallen human nature, however, often fails to differentiate between the sin and the sinner. Some see euthanasia, for instance, as an act of compassion. I have a feeling in this instant they're dressing up Dharma as wheat. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 5, it reads, Woe to those who call good evil and evil good. Throughout history, on a global level, many examples of weeding out come to mind. For instance, the weeding out of European Jewry during World War II, apartheid in South Africa, white farmers uprooted from Zimbabwe, ethnic cleansing of Muslims from Serbia, Palestinian people walled out, all resulting in failure, misery and death. But the fact that weeding out has no history of success hasn't quelled man's passion for it. Albert Einstein said, that insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. And then there are individuals who embark on a moral crusade to reform people's lives with little concern for the person or institutions that they are targeting. Unfortunately, they have a tendency to uproot the wheat with the darn. There's darnel in every organization, even in the church. Mischievous people, however, tar everyone with the same brush because of the sins of a small few. We're told to love people the way they are, or in spite of the way they are. God doesn't differentiate in his love between the good and bad people of this world. Yes, he is calling us all to repentance, but he's never forcing our hand. Yes, scripture reminds us that he lets his sun shine and rain fall on good and bad men alike. Even though we must always correct people who do wrong, but we must always do so with love and never write anyone off our list. We don't want to uproot the wheat with the dharma. So to the question in today's gospel, do you want us to go and weed it out? The answer is a categorical no. God will judge everyone with justice after death where there will be no possibility of any mistakes. Life would be a lot better for everyone if we left it like that. Jesus said, Ask and you shall receive. In that spirit we make these prayers to our Father in heaven. Let us pray that the parable of the Dharma and the wheat may inspire us to be more tolerant and less judgmental of each other. Lord, in your mercy.
mercy. Let us pray for people who are likely to lose their jobs as a result of COVID-19. May they not lose hope, but through prayer and perseverance be shielded from the worst effects of this pandemic. Lord, in your mercy. Let us pray for vocations. May the young, despite the distractions of the world, be able and willing to listen to the voice of the Good Shepherd, calling them to follow him like Peter and all the apostles. Lord, in your mercy. Let us pray that hostilities between different nations in the Middle East may be eased and replaced by tolerance, understanding and dialogue. Lord, in your mercy. Let us pray for those who are ill, especially in the parish. May they experience the Lord's healing touch. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for those who died recently, especially Tony Hayes and John Connolly. May they find rest. Lord, in your mercy. We pray now to Mary, Mother of Mercy. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Let us pause and pray for needs of our own. The Healing Prayer Merciful God, come to the help of your people. Be our shelter in this time of peril and strengthen the bonds of our community. Bring healing to all who suffer the ravages of disease and assist those whose skill and art can put an end to this affliction. Through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, Accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants, and make it holy, as you bless the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honour of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly 
right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are the holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held worthy to be in your presence and minister to Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Ralph our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we say with confidence, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, 
and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Lord, the gracious, the merciful, has made a memorial of his wonders. He gives food to those who fear him.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Lord be with you all. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go now in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.